Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this baby blanket. It's absolutely beautiful. You can make it for baby boys and girls and you can make it in any size. At the end of the video, I leave you the finished measurement, so be sure to check that out. Now I made this little blanket to match the little dress that I showed you last week. Up here, I'll go ahead and leave the link or if you click the little lamb next to my channel name, it'll take you to my channel. Remember all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish and if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well okay let's get started but don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell comment below and most of all please hit that like button thanks for your support Okay, to crochet this baby blanket, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and the yarn that I'm using is a medium number four yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's Yarn B Soft Secrets in the color white. Now you can also use any yarn weight with any hook size. The stitch multiple to this uh, stitch pattern here is multiples of six plus one. Now to begin, I have a total of 121 chains into the second chain from the hook, one, to make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on at the end of this row i'm going to have 120 single crochets i'll meet you at the end of this row Okay, I finished making this row of single crochets. I have a total of 120 single crochets. Now, this here, without stretching or anything, I measured, and it's measuring about 34 inches, which is about 86 centimeters. If you want to make your baby blanket bigger, then go ahead and add chains in multiples of six. If you want to make it smaller, then take away chains in multiples of six. At the end of the video, once we finish the baby blanket, I'll go ahead and give you the final measurement. Now, here to begin our pattern, Pattern, this is going to be the first row so chain three and turn now here into the third single crochet counting from the beginning one two three into this third single crochet here we're going to make a fan each one of these fans from here on is going to consist of two double crochets chain one two double crochets There, now skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, we're going to make a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into this single crochet, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. In total, we did this four times, and I have a total of nine loops on the hook. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Make sure that these loops here are nice and loose so that when we close, your hook doesn't get caught in any of the loops. So here to close our puff stitch, grab a loop and pass it through these nine loops. Now chain one. Now skip one, two, and into the third, make a fan. Skip two, one, two, and into the third single crochet, make a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. Nine loops on the hook, close, chain one, skip two single crochets, and into the next, make a fan. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this first row. You're just going to alternate between a fan and a puff stitch separated by two single crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, make a puff stitch. Nine loops, close, chain one. Continue like this to the end of this first row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. Here at the end, I have three single crochets into the last single crochet here, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish this first row. 
and that's what it looks like. Now for the second row, you're going to chain three and turn. Now in this row, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make fans and puff stitches. The puff stitches are going to go into the chain one space of the fans and the fans are going to go on top of the puff stitches. So let me show you. Beginning into this first fan, make a puff stitch. Nine loops, close, chain one. Now on top of the puff, we have this chain make a fan. Again, we have the fan make a puff stitch inside the chain one space. Nine loops, close, chain one, and then on top of the next puff, make a fan. And this is all we're going to do for this second row. So continue like this. I will meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. And that's how it looks. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here at the end, I finished this row with a puff stitch. Now to finish here at the end, we have three chains into the second chain. Insert your hook and make a double crochet. And this is how we're going to finish each row from here on. Now for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now for this third row, I'm going to start my row by making a fan on top of this first puff stitch. So insert your hook here on top and make a fan. Now inside the chain one space of the fans, we do the puff stitch and that's all. The only difference between these two rows is the way that you start. You either start with a fan or you either start with a puff stitch. In this row, we started with a fan. In the previous row, we started with a puff stitch. So continue like this. I will meet you at the end of this third row to show you once again how to finish each row and how to start the next row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now here at the end, my last stitch here is a fan. So to finish the row, all you do is just go into the second chain here and make a double crochet. And this is how I finished the third row. Now, from here on, like I said, these are the two rows that you're going to repeat. And the only difference is the way that you start each row. If there's a fan, you start with a puff stitch. If there is a puff stitch, then you start with a fan. Now, for the fourth row, let me start you off here. You're going to chain three and turn. Here I have a fan, so I'm going to start this row with a puff stitch. So yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, nine loops, close, chain one. And then on top of the puff, you're going to make your fan. And that's all you're going to do for the rest of this row. And then you're going to chain three, turn, and then repeat the same thing. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for my baby blanket. Continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the baby blanket. I have done a total of 56 rows. My last row here, I ended with a puff stitch. Now this here is measuring about 34 inches long by 35 inches wide, which is about 86.5 centimeters by 89 centimeters wide. I'll go ahead and give you a final measurement once the baby blanket is done. So here to continue, what we're going to do are single crochets along the sides and along the top. The important Important thing here is that when you do your single crochets you do the same number of single crochets that you do here on the sides you do the same on both sides so on this other side I'm going to make sure that I have the same number of stitches and the same thing for the top and the bottom and make sure that these stitches here that we do along the side are in multiples of three you can apply this border for any blanket so that would be the way to do it. Make single crochets all around in multiples of three on the sides and on the top and bottom. So let's get started here with the border. The first thing that we're going to do, like I said, are single crochets all around. So to start here, I'm going to chain one. Here I have this last double crochet that I did. So into this space here, make two single crochets. Now into the next space, make two single crochets two single crochets into the next, 
two single crochets into the next and so on here along the edge this is how i'm going to continue on each one of these spaces make two single crochets once i get here towards the bottom i'm going to count my stitches and if i need to add more or less um, i'll go ahead and adjust it here towards the end so that this side here is in multiples of three so continue i'll meet you here at the bottom to show you uh, what we need to do next Okay, I made these single crochets along this side. Here's my first corner. Now up to here, this is the row of single crochets. Up to here, I have a total of 114 single crochets. 114 is divisible by three. So here, what I did was I counted up to here. Up to here, I have 100 single crochets, and then I just adjusted here accordingly. Some of these spaces have three, two, three, two, and so on, until I had 114 single crochets or multiples of three. So now here to do this first corner, I'm going to go into this first chain here, and I'm going to make four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to place a stitch marker in the middle here so that I have two single crochets on this side and two on this side. So right about there, right in the middle. Now I'm going to continue along the bottom and here it's going to be very easy because we have these chains here. So all you do is just insert your hook there through the chain and make single crochets now i'm going to continue and i'm going to count from this first single crochet until i come here to this end and i'm going to make sure that it's also in multiples of three the multiples of three is after the four single crochets here that we did for the corners these stitches do not count so continue like this just making one single crochet for each chain and then I'll meet you here at this other end to show you how we're going to work the second corner. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along the bottom. Now up to here, I have a total of 117 single crochets, which is multiples of three counting from the first single crochet that we did after the four that we did here. So counting from here, up to here it's 117 single crochets now to make the third corner just insert your hook right here into this corner stitch and make four single crochets that's two three four now put a stitch marker here right in the middle of these four double crochets and now i'm going to continue along now for this side, I'm going to make sure I have a total of 114 single crochets because for the other side, that's the number of stitches that we had. So here to begin, I'm going to go into the row of single crochets, just right about here. And then two single crochets for each space here along the side. I'm going to continue like this, just making two, two, two single crochets. Once I come to, I don't know, about here, I'm going to count my stitches and then adjust accordingly so that I can finish with 114 single crochets. So continue, I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to make the third corner. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this side. I have a total of 114 single crochets. Now here I have three chains, so I'm going to go into the second chain here which is the middle stitch and i'm going to make my corner here so make four single crochets i'm just going to go into the space here like that now put a stitch marker here right in the center now into this same space here make one single crochet one single crochet on top of the puff stitch and for each fan you're going to make five single crochets so two and then into the chain space one single crochet and then two so each fan is going to have five single crochets that's two three four five and then on top of the puff make one and then again five for the next fan 
This is how I'm going to continue here along the top. Here I want to make sure I finish with 117 single crochets. Okay, so continue like this. I'll meet you here at this other side to show you how we're going to make the fourth quarter. I'm here at the end. I finished making these single crochets along the top. Up to here, I have a total of 117 single crochets. Now, what I'm going to do into this last stitch here that you see, this is actually the top of the double crochet. I'm going to make four single crochets there. That's one, two, three, four. And here's the fourth corner. I'm going to put a stitch marker here in the middle of these four. And now to finish the row, I'm going to go into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row. Now the top and bottom, they each have 117 single crochets. And for both sides, I have 114 single crochets. Each corner has four single crochets. So if you add up all of those single crochets, that equals 478 single crochets all around for this first row. Now for the second row here of the border, chain one and into this first stitch where we joined, make a double crochet. Now here, all I'm going to do for this row is double crochets all around. I'm going to make this row so that you can weave a ribbon through. I'm just going to continue like this all around, just making one double crochet on each single crochet until I come to the first corner. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these double crochets along this side. Up to here, I have 114 double crochets. Now I have the next four single crochets here for the first corner. I'm going to remove my stitch marker and into the next two, make a double crochet. Now I have 116 double crochets along this side and for the corner now I'm going to chain one and into the next two single crochets of the corner make double crochets. So each corner you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the four single crochets that we did there. Now continue along the bottom and make double crochets on each single crochet until you come to the second corner where you're going to do the same thing I just did here. Continue along, finish this second row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these double crochets here for the top and I also went ahead and did the fourth corner. I just need to finish here with this last double crochet. Now to finish this second row, just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this second row with a total of 478 double crochets. Now for the top and bottom, I have 121 double crochets. For each one of the sides, I have 119 double crochets. Now we're going to continue with the third row. and the third row, I'm going to start my border. So here I'm going to make two more slip stitches one and two right there so in total with the one where we joined I have three slip stitches now I'm going to chain four skip two double crochets and into the next make a single crochet chain four skip two double crochets and into the next make a single crochet chain four skip two double crochets and into the third make a single crochet this is how i'm going to continue until i come to the first corner i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the first corner now i have a total of 38 chain four spaces this is the last one here so here what i'm going to do is skip the last two double crochets and into the chain one space here of the corner make a single crochet now chain four single crochet again into this same chain one space and here is the corner now to continue chain four skip two double crochets and into the third make a single crochet chain three 
skip two double crochets and into the third a single crochet and this is all we're going to do until we come to the second corner i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these chains here for the bottom side i have a total of 41 chain four spaces now here at the end i'm not sure what happened i only have one double crochet left instead of two but it's okay i'm just going to continue and finish here in the corner by making a single crochet now i'm going to chain four and into the same chain space of the corner make a single crochet so easily we can adjust it there and it doesn't look too bad so now here for this side i have a total of 41 chain one spaces now i'm going to chain four skip two and into the third make a single crochet chain four skip two and into the third a single crochet continue finish this side and i'll meet you here this is the third corner to show you what we need to do next this is the third corner now i have my last chain four i'm going to go into the chain space and make a single crochet now for this side here i have a total of 40 chain four spaces and here on this side i have 38 because i still need to make two more here at the end this is the corner so i still need to make two more so now here for the corner chain four and into the same stitch here make a single crochet now chain four skip two and into the next make a single crochet and so on continue like this until you come to the fourth corner i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making the fourth corner here i didn't show you because it's the same thing that we've been doing single crochet four chain single crochets now for this side here i have a total of 41 chain four spaces just like i did for the bottom part and here again i had to adjust because i only had one double crochet left which is okay it doesn't look too bad so i just went ahead and did my four chains and did my single crochet chain four single crochet into the fourth corner now to finish here i'm going to chain four skip two and into the third make a single crochet chain four and into the same double crochet here where i did the last slip stitch to start on the third row i'm going to go in there and make a single crochet and this is how i finish the third row now for the top and bottom i have 41 and 41 chain four spaces for the sides i have 40 chain four spaces and each corner has a chain four space so if you add them all up i have 162 plus four for each corner now to continue with the fourth row into this chain four space make a slip stitch now chain four and into the next chain four space insert your hook and make a single crochet chain four into the next chain four space make a single crochet chain four into the next chain four space make a single crochet this is all we're going to do all around so continue i'll meet you here at the bottom this is the first corner to show you how we're going to work the corners and then you're going to continue on your own this is the first corner for the fourth row here i did my last single crochet into this last chain four then i chained four and i have my chain four space for the corner into this corner here just make a single crochet and then chain four and into the next chain four make a single crochet so basically all we're doing all around is just making four chains and then a single crochet into each chain four space and this is all we're going to do all around this is how you're going to work each corner and that's how it looks so continue finish this fourth row and i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this fourth row now here's my last chain four to finish this row i have the first chain four here now into this space here make a single crochet 
and now into the next chain four space which is the first chain four space that we did for the fourth row make a slip stitch now at the end of the fourth row i have a total of 166 chain four spaces now to begin the fifth row here i already did a slip stitch into this chain four space now chain four and go into the next chain four space and make a single crochet chain four single crochet into the next chain four and so on you're just going to continue doing the same thing we did in the previous row until you come here to the first corner i will meet you here to show you how we're going to work the corners here's the first corner for the fifth row i have four chains now this corner here has two chain four spaces one on this side and one on this side so chain four and into this chain four space make a single crochet chain four single crochet into the next chain four chain four single crochet and so on from here on the pattern is the same and that's all we're going to do this is how you're going to work each one of the corners each corner is only going to have one chain four space right there right in the middle continue all around make sure to do the same thing for each corner and i'll meet you at the end of this fifth row I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have my last chain four. Up to here, I have 166 chain four spaces for this fifth row. Now, to finish the row, we're going to go here into this chain four, which is the same where I did the slip stitch to begin the fifth row. So, in there, make a single crochet and now go into the first chain four space of the fifth row and make a slip stitch. Now, to begin the sixth row, chain four and into the next chain four space make a single crochet chain four single crochet into the ch next chain four and so on continue like this until you come to the first corner i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next this is the first corner for the sixth row i have four chains now i have my four chains here for the corner into this chain four space make a single crochet then make four chains and single crochet into the next chain space then again four chains single crochet and so on you're just going to continue like this until you come to the next corner so each corner is going to have two chain four spaces one on this side and one on this side so continue like this all around for the sixth row i will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have my last four chains. Now to finish this row, I'm going to go into this chain four space and I'm going to make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the sixth row. I have a total of 166 chain four spaces all around for this row. Now I'm not going to continue making any more rows, but if you want to continue and make more rows and make this part here wider, you can. This part here is measuring about, I don't know, two inches or an inch and a half or so. Uh, just this part here but if you want to make it wider you can here what i'm going to do next is the last row here for the border so to do this here this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go into this first chain four space and i'm going to make three single crochets now i'm going to chain four one two three four go back to the last single crochet that you did so this third one here and insert your hook like this through these two loops that's in front of the single crochet and make a single crochet here we're going to be making these little flowers and each flower is going to have let's say three petals so this here is the first petal now to make the second petal you're going to chain four again Go back to the single crochet that you did to close the first petal. So insert your hook like this through these two loops, grab a loop and make a single crochet. Again, chain four, and then go back to the last single crochet that you did, which is the one that you did to close the second petal. So right here, and make a single crochet. So I have three petals. Now into this same chain four space, now I'm going to go back and make three single crochets. 
and here's the first flower it looks like a little clover but I'm going to call them little flowers they're so cute so here I'm going to go into the next chain four space and start with three single crochets one two three now chain four one two three four go back to the last single crochet that you did so this third one here insert your hook like this through the two loops and make a single crochet here's the first petal and here's the single crochet now chain four again go through the single crochet of the last petal and make a single crochet chain four go into the second single crochet of the second petal and make a single crochet i have three petals go back to the chain four and make three single crochets one two three let me show you one more time go into the next chain four space make three single crochets chain four go back to the third single crochet and insert your hook like this through both loops and make a single crochet chain four go into the first single crochet for the first petal and make a single crochet chain four go into the second single crochet of the second petal and make a single crochet i have three petals go back to the chain four space and make three single crochets one two three and this is all you're going to do on each one of the chain four spaces like this this is how it looks here on the back side so that's all I'm going to do all around so continue let's finish this row one thing if you want to change color here and make this part here pink or blue you can you can change color and then change the color here to match the ribbon that you're going to put here I'm not going to do that I'm just going to continue with the same color so continue I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you the finished baby blanket I'm here at the end of the last row for the border to finish I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and the border is all done along with the baby blanket and this is how it looks very pretty now here all i did was just weave this ribbon here through the row of double crochets and to do this all i did was just measure this part here and cut my ribbon uh, a little bit longer and i just weaved it here on this side right here and then weaved another ribbon on this side so here in the corners you have the ribbons where you can make a little bow which is what i did here in this corner i also went ahead and did this little flower here using this trim here this trim i purchased from hobby lobby now to make this little flower all i did was just go here along the very edge with some needle and thread and once i got to the end i pulled it and then joined and then as you can see this beautiful little flower was formed and right in the center i went ahead and attached these flowers here i've also purchased these from hobby lobby these are in the wedding aisle and i just pull it off here from this wire and then i just sewed it in here in the center and then i just made this bow here right in the center and that's all i did it's very easy very pretty i love the way that this turned out so i hope you like it as well now let me give you the finished measurement the length of the baby blanket it's measuring about 43 inches which is about 107 centimeters and the width is about 44 inches which is about 112 centimeters so here's the baby blanket it's all done i absolutely love this stitch pattern it's so beautiful and the yarn that i used i think i showed it at the beginning it's this one here it's yarn b soft secrets 
um, I haven't weighed it or anything I'll go ahead and leave you how much I used in the information box as I always do so here's the baby blanket to match the little dress that I already showed you many of you are loving this little dress and commenting that you will use this as a little christening gown which is a great idea as I mentioned at the end of the video when I showed you this it's absolutely beautiful you can make it as long as you want and I think it would make a perfect christening or baptism gown okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time